Hello students, this is your history lesson. Today we are going to read and understand chapter 7, The Progressive Civilization of the Chinese from Understanding History for Class 6. So we start our lesson. First of all, have a look on glossary. Breeding, upbringing, rearing, bring up and care for a child until they are fully grown. Akyak, Akyak, very old or old fashioned. Inscriptions, inscription, a thing inscribed as on a monument or in a book. So, a historical, religious or other record cut, impressed, painted or written on stone, brick, metal or other hard surface. Materiology Materiology, the branch of science and technology concerned with the properties of metals and their production and purification immensely to a great extent extremely subjects bring a person or country under one's control or jurisdiction typically by using force confucius books confucius was a chinese philosopher and politician of the spring and autumn period who was traditionally considered the pagan of Chinese sages. Archer, a person who shoots with the bow and arrows, especially at a target as a sport. Excusedly, excusedly, in an extremely beautiful and delicate manner. Terracotta, a type of fired clay, typically of a brownish red color and unglazed, used an ornamental building material and in modeling. Archaeological excavation is the process by which archaeologists define, retrieve, and record cultural and biological remains found in the ground. Consolidated. Consolidated made something physically stronger or more solid. Raids. A raid. A, pe a raid. Surprise attack on an enemy by troops, aircraft, or other armed forces. Rammed. Very crowded, packed. Rammed. Reinforcing. Strengthen or support an object or substance, especially with additional material. Blossomed to flourish, develop riches, material wealth, ancestors, a person related to you who lived a long time ago, influential, having great influence on someone or something, revived, regain life or strength, lenient of a punishment or person in authority more merciful or tolerant than expected axles a rod or spindle passing through the center of a wheel or group of wheels now open your book page number 33 and start reading with me in the East, Chinese history goes back to nearly 5,000 
years just as the Indus Valley civilization of South Asia. Students, first of all, let me clear about the Indus Valley civilization. Students, in Indus Valley civilization, that is also known as the Indus civilization was a Bronze Age civilization in the northwestern regions of South Asia. This period is from 3300 BCE, we can say 3300 BCE to 1300 BCE, together with ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia, it was one of three early civilizations of the Near East and South Asia, and of the three, the most widespread, its sites spanning on area stretching from today's Northeast Afghanistan through much of Pakistan and into western and north western India. I hope you are clear about this civilization. This civilization grew in North China around the Yellow River and then expanded to include the area around the river Yangtze. Chinese civilization has a rich cultural heritage as it developed a system of writing, philosophy, art, and political and administrative organization. The civilization started with agriculture, agriculture, hunting, breeding, and rearing of farm animals, and has continued without a break for over 5,000 years to the present as the only one of its kind in world history. So students, in China, the civilization grew, grew around the Yellow River and expanded to include the area around the river Yangtze, and Chinese civilization has a rich culture, uh, cultural heritage and uh, it has the features of uh, the system of writing, philosophy, art and political and administrative organization. In this uh, civilization, they started agriculture, hunting, breeding and rearing of farm animals and it continued without a break for over 5,000 years to the present as the only one of its kind in world history. The great after Shun, the last of the five emperors, gave the throne to him. The earliest known dynasty is the Xia, followed by the Sheng, Zhu, Qin, and Han, which are well known. So, yes, the Zhu dynasty was a Chinese dynasty that followed the Sheng dynasty and preceded the Qin dynasty. Qin was an ancient Chinese state during the Zhu dynasty. And uh, the Han are the majority ethnic group in China, making up 92% of the mainland's population. They also constitute the world's largest ethnic group with 18% of all people on earth being Han. The Han take their name from the Han dynasty, which through North the dynasty to first unit China, it was also the dynasty taking during which China's most influential historian lived and wrote and the dynasty that would continue to be romanticized through literature for thousands of years to come. 
The Ju dynasty ruled for the long for the longest time and lasted for over 800 years, which included the reign of 37 emperors. So, in the Ju dynasty, there were 37 emperors. Its achievements in economy, politics, science, and culture were far ahead of the Shan dynasty. Two important events of the period were the development of a writing system as revealed in archaic Chinese inscriptions found on tortoise shells and flat cattle bones commonly called oracle bones and the use of bronze metallurgy. A number of ceremonial bronze vessels with inscriptions date from the Shang period. The workmanship on the bronze beers witness to a high level of civilization. So students, this civilization is famous for the writing system. As we can see from the tortoise shells, bronze, bronze vessels and bronze beers. Now come to another dynasty that is Qin dynasty. Qin dynasty. Qin was an ancient Chinese state during the Zhu dynasty. The Qin dynasty contributed immensely to Chinese progress. Chu Huang founded the dynasty but he was not a very popular ruler as he was too strict and severe towards his subjects. He did not allow any sort of discussion about the government and ordered the destruction of all books including Confucius books. Only books on farming, medicine, and fortune telling were not destroyed. The Qin rulers also established the concept of a centralized government and a legal system and developed a written language, a single currency, and one set of weights and measures. Axles for cars had a uniform basic length and made trade easier throughout the empire. So students, Qin Chu Huang was the founder of the Qin dynasty and first emperor of a unified China. But he was not popular, not famous for his strict actions and unkind uh, treatment and behavior towards his subjects. He destroyed all the books except the books on farming, medicine and fortune telling. The other rulers from this dynasty also established the concept of centralized, centralized government and they introduced legal system, developed a writing pattern, written language and introduced a single currency and sets of weights and measures. Emperor Huang's tomb was guarded by 7,000 soldiers, archers, horses and chariots in battle formation but all exquisitely made of terracotta. An archaeological excavation uncovered these in 1974 in underground tunnels reflecting the highly developed culture and art and craft of this period. The Qin dynasty came to an end with the death of Shi Huangzi.
The Qin dynasty came to an end with death of Chu Huang and was succeeded by the Han who unlike the Qin respected and followed the teachings of Confucius. Instead of ruling through fear, they brought a more just and efficient government to China. Emperor Wudi is the best known of the Han emperors. He extended and consolidated his empire and enabled the opening of the Silk Route for trade between China and the West. Students, the Wudi Emperor is best remembered for his military conquests. His administrative reforms left an enduring mark on the Chinese state and his exclusive recognition. He set up Confucian academies throughout the country and made Confucianism the state philosophy. His campaign usually succeeded in expanding the empire. He kept the Zhuan Niu out and established Silk Road trade by sending Chan Qin to the U.S. Li in 1939 BC. The Great Wall of China The Great Wall of China was first built by the founder of the Qin dynasty, Qi Huang to kept away barbarian invaders from the north in 221 BCE. It was later extended by four other dynasties. The wall runs from east to west along the entire northern border of China. The 5,000 kilometer long wall that survives today was added by the Ming dynasty. It was made stronger by using bricks and stone instead of rammed earth. Since the Mongols continued their raids over the year, the Ming emperors spent their resources on reinforcing and repairing the wall from 1399 to 1466. The wall is especially strong near the Ming capital, Beijing. Philosophy The Chinese schools of philosophy also blossomed during the Qin period. There are nearly a hundred Chinese schools of philosophy, but the two main ones are Confucianism and Taoism. Confucius lived in a time when there was unrest, as nobles were quarreling because the Zhu dynasty had become weak. He traveled all over China and became a teacher and gave importance to education. Confucius the Philosopher He advised that rulers should work constantly to improve the lot of the common people by keeping peace and order in the empire. The emperors and nobles Tasks should not be just to gain riches and power. He stressed human values and how people should treat each other well and benefit from family life. Confucius said, Never do to others what you would not like them to do to you. Confucius did not teach about gods but gave importance to respect and worship of ancestors. Students, Confucius is known as the first teacher in China who wanted to make education broadly available. He also established ethical, moral and social standards that formed the basis of a way life known as Confucianism. Taoism Taoism also known as 
Daoism is recognized as the other most influential religious philosophy besides Confucianism. The origin of this system can be traced to as far back as the 6th century BCE, but it was revived later by a philosopher Lao Tzu around the 4th century BCE. Taoism believes in accepting nature, not opposing it, as compared to Confucius' teaching of ancestor worship and strictly following old traditions. Taoism is more lenient. So students, Taoism is a philosophical and spiritual tradition of Chinese origin which emphasizes living in harmony with the Tao. In Taoism, the Tao is the source, pattern and substance of everything that exists. Taoism teaches about the various disciplines for achieving perfection. Questions When and where did Chinese civilization begin? Answer in the East, Chinese history goes back to nearly 5,000 years, just as the Indus Valley Civilization of South Asia. This civilization grew on northern China around the Yellow River and then expanded to include the area around the river Yangtze. Question 2. Name some of famous dynasties that ruled China, especially the one that ruled the longest. Answer. China was ruled by dynasties and each contributed to its history, culture and progress. The earliest known dynasty Xia followed by Shang, Jiu, Qin and Han which are well known. The Zhou dynasty ruled for the longest time and lasted for over 800 years, which included the reign of 37 emperors. 1. A number of ceremonial bronze vessels with inscriptions that are from the Shang period. 2. The workmanship on the bronze bears witness to a high level of civilization. Question 4. Describe the Terracotta army of Emperor Chu Huang. Answer. Emperor Huang's tomb was guarded by 7,000 soldiers, archers, horses, and chariots in battle formation, but all exquisitely made of Terracotta. Question 5. What is philosophy? Explain some of the teachings of the Chinese philosopher Confucius. Answer. Philosophy is the study of the fundamental nature of knowledge, reality and existence. Confucius advised rulers should work constantly to improve the lot of the common people by keeping peace and order in the empire. The emperor and noble's task should not be just to gain riches and power. He stressed human values and how people should treat each other well and benefit from family life. Confucius said never to do others what you would not like them to do to you. Confucius did not teach about gods but gave importance to respect and worship of ancestors. Question 6. What evidence do you find that the Chinese civilization was highly educated? Answer. There are nearly a hundred Chinese schools of philosophy, but the two main ones are Confucianism and Taoism. Confucius who traveled all over China and became a teacher and gave importance to education. 
which is the evidence which shows the Chinese civilization was highly educated. Question 7. Why was the Great Wall of China built? Describe the making of the wall. Answer. The Great Wall of China was first built by the founder of the Qin dynasty, Chu Huang, to keep away barbarian invaders from the north in 221 BCE. It was later extended by four other dynasties. The wall runs from east to west along the entire northern border of China. Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.